All right. Take two. I had a phone call business. All right. Uh, I left off on removing shit from your yard. All right. Uh, remove the shit from your yard. So flies do not build up on your shit, lay eggs, become maggots. Your dogs and puppies be curious, go over there, put their nose in it, lick it up and shit, and then next thing you know, you gotta deal with that shit. Uh, when you leave shit in your yard, shit is food for ticks, fleas, uh, it causes other shit, uh, I cannot think right now, but uh, shit's bad. So I suggest you get a spray bottle, something like this. This is uh, bleach water and fabuloso mix. So after you clean the shit up. In the area that you don't want your dog shit in, like closer to the house, the door, or the front fence or something, you want them to stay in the backyard. Uh, get you a mixture, get a spray bottle. After you pick the shit up, you spray this shit all over the area you just picked up from. Not just in that one spot, you want to spread it out at least two feet. Uh, radius of the pile of shit that you just picked up. All right, that's that's gonna help y'all a lot. The cock, uh, coccidia, and uh, the other one that comes with it. All that shit is your dogs might be running around playing. If they probably step on a pile of dog shit, then when they go eat, they put their hand in the dog food, the bowl. Be eating their food and eat some shit. Then next thing you know, your dog got coccidia and the other bad shit. And then you gotta spend more money on medicine and treating that shit. So try to cut it by picking up the dog shit and take it away far as possible or just put it in the garbage. And then, and then uh, like I said, get your spray bottle Bleach, pine saw, or fabuloso. Um, bleach is gonna kill most, most of the shit, the germs, bacteria, diseases, and parasites, and stuff like that. But the the pine saw or fabuloso, it's gonna mask the smell also. So keep that. That's a must have. You can go to a dollar store, get that. If you got a Dollar Tree, you can get a lot of shit at Dollar Tree. Everything in the store is one dollar. You can get you packs of uh frozen salmon that's filleted, you know the fish salmon. Get that. You get sh shit, a lot of stuff. Even uh, some the decorations that I got in my fish tanks, it's either Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, or Walmart. Uh, I go to thrift stores and, and get the fucking decoration plants and take take the shit out, pay for that, and then rinse them off real good. Put it in my fish tank. I I just get the shit that look. The natural look. You can't put everything in, in your tank. You gotta know what you could use in your tank that look natural as possible. All right. Um, all right. Let's go back to this food. Human foods dogs can and cannot eat. Uh, ice cream. Uh. 
I took these notes like years ago. When I was, you know, um, I've been helping different breeders and shit. Um, I was the person that would feed the dogs, clean up the shit, and learn what I could and, and get paid at the end of the day. That was like a little part-time job. I had not I used to deal with a lot of different breeders. I, I told you guys, <clears throat> I dealt with dogs giving birth, dogs from 10 pounds to 120 pounds or more, um, different breeds. I know how to condition dogs, you know, for stamina and sports and shit like that. I know how to have the dog gain weight, um, lose fat, all different types of stuff. Uh, I uh, used to go to Chicago, and I didn't, I didn't notice at the time. I was so young. I just wanted to be with the guys that's making all the money and shit, you know, be in the crowd. And I'm like fucking 14, 15, 16 years old, and I'm going to dog fights. I learned a lot of stuff messing with these dog men that was breeding pit bulls and shit like that. And other people that wasn't into that kind of sport. You know, you know it's it's kind of fucked up that Europeans made that sport, and then they try to make a next race look bad because they just picking up where they left off. You know, uh, a lot of European Europeans to this day are still fighting dogs, but they're um in a different country and their name is low key hush hush VIP type shit you know <clears throat> but people think uh rappers and athletes just start getting dogs to fighting dogs and shit when they grew up seeing people fighting dogs and shit so them not knowing no better and shit like that. Yeah, it's, it's bad, but... Way, 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 way back in the day... Um, it was no entertainment. So, the Europeans... Bred these dogs to battle. They used these dogs to hunt pigs. Like wild boars. Uh, take down grizzly bears. Wolves. Coyotes. And other game animals like they take they pit bulls out to go hunt that's why these pit bulls are so tough today um the the, the animal prey drive is high as fuck uh dog aggression in some dogs is still high but not as high as it was 10 years ago or 20 years before that but it's Shit's fucked up because the pit bull got a bad rap. Pit bulls are loving dogs. They used to be called nanny dogs. They protect your babies, protect your house and shit. When the man at work, it's just the wife and the kids. The dog right there protecting them. But now it's all fucked up. Like the pit bull got a bad repetition. But now um they they came out with the new breed you cannot call these this new breed pit bulls at all the new breed i'm talking about is bullies which have the pit bull look but on steroids i'm not saying the dogs on steroids i'm just saying as far as the structure the body the muscle the head <clears throat> all right make sure i do a lot it is i like it All right, um, I'll say the the pit bull terrier is the athletic athlete. Um, 
they're willing to please you. They they love you unconditionally. Would do anything for you. That's why they go so hard. And anything that you train these dogs to do anything, they police dogs also. But um, the way the bully came up is they took the biggest pit bull and they bred it to the biggest um, Amstaff. Put those two together, kept breeding the biggest to the biggest, and they came out with a look. Some other people used the same concept, but they incorporated other dog breeds such as uh, Bulldogs. Um, and you could tell if if you got the trained eye, that dog man eye, 